A bird is flying at a constant velocity of 2 metres per second. The wind changes direction and causes it to undergo an acceleration of minus 1 metres per second squared for a period of 10 seconds. Calculate the displacement of the bird and the distance it has travelled after 10 seconds. Well, if we put down that u is 2 metres per second to the minus 1, a is minus 1 metres per second squared, t is 10 seconds, and s, the displacement we don't know. If we use s is equal to ut plus a half at squared, we're going to have that s is 2 times 10, 2 times the time, plus a half times minus 1 times 10 squared, so that gives me 20 minus 50, which is minus 30 metres. The displacement is minus 30 metres. I.e. 30 metres behind its starting position. Now for the distance we have to be a little bit kept more careful. We need to draw a diagram. So we've got our bird here. What's, what's going to happen, it's going to move forward and then it's going to move back so that it went uh, uh, S is equal to minus 30 metres. So the wind's acting against it up to this point and then it will momentarily be zero and then the the acceleration will take it going backwards. So if U is 2 metres per second, at this particular point the velocity will be equal to zero. The acceleration is acting against the bird. So finding s when v is equal to u meter per second so when we find that we can find do that and then add that and then add in 30 using v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 a s we have that zero will be equal to 2 squared plus 2 times minus 1 s so we're going to have zero is equal to 4 minus 2 s 2s is equal to 4, therefore s is equal to 2. So this distance here is 2, and this distance up to this point here is 2, therefore, and then this distance is 30, therefore the total distance will be equal to 2, this distance, plus 2, this distance, plus 30, this distance, which gives me a total distance of 34 metres. Okay, so there's been a video to show you about a bird flying against an acceleration of minus one meter per second and being able to find the distance, total distance travelled and the displacement. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.